Steve, as you can tell, is here. He's been very busy touring with the League of Gentlemen and has starred in Ben and Dawn. That's what we, many things we know you from and Inside Number 9. But now, Steve Pemberton is taking on a very gritty new role. Yeah, in the interrogation of Tony Martin, he plays the Norfolk farmer who was jailed for three years after he shot dead burglar Fred Barris in 1999. It's a one-off drama. It's scripted from the real police interviews. It's very chilling and very intense, isn't it, Steve? Because you, th these have all been taken, as we were saying, in the from the actual tapes of the interrogation. That's right, it's what they call verbatim drama, so every word that we spoke in the drama was spoken by the policeman or by Tony Martin himself. And it was a case that really captured people's imaginations, mm. didn't it, and provoked really strong feeling. You know, a whole bunch of people saying, good on you, because mm. he went to try and defend his home. Uh, others saying, no, it's not. I mean, did you try to... Did you feel like you learnt more from looking at the tapes and becoming Sure, him? I mean, I think p part of uh, do doing this and taking his own words is that you get to know a lot more about the man, so it's not mm. just about the sound bites we would have seen on the television. And mm. uh, he has a really interesting sort of backstory. Um, but he, you're right, it was a very divisive case. Politicians got involved yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, the laws were debated around this. Uh, how far can you go to defend your own property? Did it... Did it clear in your head whether you felt like it was the right thing for him to have done it or not because I can remember being gripped at mm. the time because here's a, here's a guy that had been repeatedly burgled mm. didn't feel like end the police of his was tether the end of his sense, tether didn't, didn't feel you? like uh, the police were doing enough it's a very dark night mm. he's come down the stairs there's two people in his house shining mm. a light in his face and, and, and I remember thinking, goodness me, that's a real dichotomy for people. Absolutely. I think, I think definitely your sympathies are with Tony Martin, uh, certainly at, at, at the beginning. But then what's interesting about, you know, an actual interrogation is that story is then examined and the police go into the detail of, well, what did you do? Did you shout a warning? Did you give them a chance to, to escape? And... Um, so you've only got his word, and that's, that's the words that we were using. Um, so it's up to the viewer, really, to decide. I tried to keep my own opinions out of it, really. And it's all shot in one room. That's right, yeah. It's an wow. interrogation room. There are sort of uh, sound flashbacks, if you like, but it wasn't meant to be a recreation. And I think now, you know, the, the public are really into true crime stories yes. and are really interested and, and have the attention span to go with something that's in, essentially a three-hander in one room. And, of course, you've got, you're, you're playing a real person as well with real words. I mean, there's you as Tony Martin there. Yeah. Is there a little bit more pressure on you as an actor there, Steve, because you, you know he exists and... and... He's going to watch it. Absolutely, yeah. I, I believe he has watched it and it was a very emotional uh, thing for him, as I'm sure it will be for the, 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 um, the victims' families as well. Yeah. But uh, I did take the responsibility seriously, um, mainly because, you know, it was verbatim. I didn't want to be changing the words. No. I didn't want to be going off script because they wouldn't have been allowed to use those takes. Something we shouldn't take seriously is the League of Gentlemen. Back for a tour <laughs> after 12 years. How did you all get on? Brilliantly, yeah. It was like time had... Uh, had just gone like that. People who, who weren't able to get a ticket, it's coming out on DVD next week. I just found out Steve knew my husband way back. They're both from Chorley. Uh, a what college was he together. like as a younger man? That's right, we were at Sixth Horn College together in, uh -huh. in uh, Leyland, and I remember him trying to drum up support for the student union, standing on sofas, <laughs> giving rousing speeches, and no one really cared. Uh, <laughs> it's just like life at home for him now. No Steve, nothing's changed. Uh, so, oh. Steve, thanks for coming in. Interrogation Tony Martin is Sunday on Channel 4 at 9 o'clock. It right. does look absolutely fascinating. I'm looking forward to seeing the whole thing. Just see mm. some kids. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in.